everybody. Welcome to round two of this Vintage Cube Holiday Draft. Pretty good opener. Uh, remind me to go back before round three and get rid of Mind's Desire. It's a great card, but it's probably cards I could have better in the deck. Uh, we're going to keep this. Going to go land into hopefully Signet, Monastery Mentor, Vindicate O-Ring. Okay. That is happening. Not the best thing. Good news is it looks like we have all of our colors, which is pretty awesome. We're going to be able to get a, uh, a mentor out and have a couple non-creature spells to play to hopefully pump it up and just kind of ride that back. Be able to destroy anything or o-ring any non-land. That's pretty good. Ooh, Supreme Verdict, aka the card we hope we never have to cast. Ever. Be awful. Yeah, this deck is sorely lacking in the Counterspell Department. We have none. So the hope is to get pretty good threat density before this O-Ring comes off. I mean, not O-Ring, this Ancestral Vision comes off. I've got O-Ring in my hand. Uh, that's not the art that I use, but uh, it's pretty sweet art. Ooh. All right. There's a clock. What are we playing? Something big. I don't like it. Elspeth. Yeah, we're going to kill that probably. Seems good. Okay, she's up to five. Eh, don't care. Lingering Souls are very good against things like Planeswalkers, but uh, we'll just hope the Mentor does not get burned in step, which is looking about to happen. Nope, didn't happen. Good. Let's get that clock. Is it a 15 turn clock? Is that right? Fourteen, I guess. Fourteen turn clock. Come on. Ding ya. This is once when I actually wish this was a detention sphere instead of a living ring. Still though, we'll be fine. I'd rather her jump this one than make another one. Just kinda how it is. Oh no! Luckily that has flashback, so that's something. We get to draw seven. Sweet. Very sweet. I'm all about this. Um, yeah, like, they got seven cards. Just gonna make it where this is a tangle wire. Okay. Okay. I see how you wanna be. That's okay. I'm pretty sure I can out token you, so maybe you've got something I don't don't know about, but yeah. Hmm. Tap four things. The skull cup's gonna be pretty good if I'm cast it. Um Nothing instant speed, right? Nope. Okay. Okay. Um.
by the way, that tangle wire is not going to be great for you. Just saying. Nice tangle wire, bro. I like it. They play tangle wire and I add, let's see, eight permanents to the board. Seems fine. Seems fine. Granted, they get to tap bits. So one, two, three. Oh, they're still tapping. They can't tap planeswalkers, right? No planeswalkers or enchantments. So artifacts, creatures, and lands. Works for me. Wow, they're not lucky with flips so far. Ten cards and six mana. Seven, I'm sure they will land. Don't know if they can kill me here, so that's cool. Mana Vault. Okay. Okay. Uh, they discarded Wrath of God with the Will of Fortune, which probably wish they had right now. Um, I don't really wish I had Supreme Verdict. I'm fine. Hmm. Okay, so... In response, I'm going to gush... Ashiok may be good enough, actually. Hmm. Okay, so... I don't even know what they're going to pick. What, what, what do they pick here? They pick something that they don't control. It's non-land. Skull Clamp. Okay. You can have my Skull Clamp. Resolves. Sure, you totally have a 1-1. One -one. I'm probably going to kill you this turn. Just saying. Gideon. Oh no! Cashing in for the emblem won't do much because you just lose that guy. Uh, which one are you picking? Uh, Monastery Mentor? Sweet. Monastery Mentor can't deal damage. Deal. Hmm. 
pack rats you hmm um let me see jump something. Maybe I want to leave one of the flyers back. Um, I think I'll leave one flyer back. That seems fine. Okay, so back Elspeth. Back. Wait, what? All attack Gideon. Got a Brahmaz out of it and exiled, what do we exile? Chandra and Plains. So yeah, the Gideon basically saved their Elspeth and gained them some life. That's okay. They got lucky that time. They hit their mana crypt. Flip. Paid one to mana vault, so. Like I said, they're on a little bit of a clock. It's okay. What do we got here? Coercive portal. Yeah, you can draw some cards with that if you want to. Although, do I care if we blow up the world? Eh, yeah, I guess I'd be against that. Ashok's just going to mill you out, so you can draw all the cards you want. You already used your council's judgment. Land tax. I don't think that's going to hit anything anytime soon. You never know. in the tank facing down with seven tokens five of which have prowess and a monastery mentor and a gambling vent with an active ashiok so wow they're not attacking ashiok that is interesting would they like to activate their elspeth yes they would okay like i said detention sphere would be amazing right now uh we'll get rid of one prowess and this sure Not so good. Uh, let's see what we can hit here. Ooh, 
duplicate Elish Norn. That's a cute card. I like Elish Norn. Um, so we'll get attack in and then activate or cast Sphinx's Rev after they block. Surprising, we're actually ahead on time, which you know, never happens to me, especially when I'm playing control decks. But my opponent has mana crypt, mana vault, land tax. Okay, you're gonna block with those. I will have to uh, kill your Elspeth. Uh, that's okay. And we're going to. Yep, kind of okay with that. Hmm. Sure, I'll discard this. One's got a lot of trigger tangle wire. Mana equipment vault. Land tax now coerce portal. Okay. Uh, sure, you can draw a card. I'm okay with that. Get you closer to dead. I bet you want to blow up the world. No dice, sir. Would you like to untap your mana vault? Yeah, they would. I'll give them this. They definitely stack their triggers correctly. Um, I don't know. I probably would have saw this first before I untapped it, but whatever. Oh, they want enough lip. Good for them. So, yeah, I'm going to play Tezzeret and kill you. After I tap one of my flying spirits. Okay, that looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, like, at least seven of these are lands. Is that what I'm saying? Sweet. Um, yeah. Okay, seems like this is good enough. Yay, got there. Ah, Sink's coming up. That's good. Yes, that Tangle Wire. They played Tangle Wire and I had eight permanents to the board, so it didn't really affect me that much. I was kind of okay with that. Uh, even so, uh, Get this disenchant in here, get out the mind's desire, which is still a very good card. Um 
Seeker, land tax. I think I want the land tax. I think we're fine. I think it's fine. What is that? Five, six. I'm going to have one more white source. It just feels like we've needed another white source like every game. The black's been coming because, you know, we have the, the Shambling Venice both, but the Catacombs Underground Sea and the Demir Signet all being black sources. Coalition Wreck as well. Uh, it's been pretty good so far. I haven't got to cast Ugin yet. Our opponent did have some colorless things, but still... Resolving at Ugin's probably a good game. Makes me wish I had more ramp for sure, but uh, I've got enough. I got just enough, I think. And like I said, we're playing the long game mostly. Uh, probably didn't have to return those two lands for the gush, but at the time I thought they might be getting the mentor, and I don't think I can respond to their vote, so we did it that way. They got rid of the mentor, still a soul clamp. I just drawn a billion cards and uh, beat them anyway, so. It's probably the right choice for the Skull Clamp. At that point, I already had four or five um, token monks, so. Boy, this balance. This balance on the draw is going to be amazing. I'm going to have I'm gonna have Ruby Signet, like two lands, and a balance, and don't care what else. Just don't care. Like maybe, like maybe a Monastery Mentor, and just like play it next turn and just rebuild. It'd be great. Or Bitter Blossom. Bitter Blossom, Pack Rat, Mentor, any of those other cards. Should be fine. Ashiok. Ashiok would work, too. Yeah, actually, if I've got two lands, two lands, Mox, Signet, Balance, Ashiok, and pretty much any other card in my deck, I am amazingly happy about how that would work out. Their um, Council's Judgment, eh, it's a little, a little bothersome, especially in my planeswalker deck that's usually doesn't have a lot of there's not a lot of answer for planeswalkers um in white blue especially you know, they're splashing red for i think that's chandra and something else anyway duplicate looked pretty good oh uh, well it's a lot of good cards no lands if this was a land and this was a land and this was a signet I would keep, but obviously we're not going to do that. We're going to get a six and I just have to deal with it. Oof, oof. Uh, keeping, all right. Land top, let's go. Get to Inquisition, into hopeful spell site. Will of Fortune, Council's Judgment, Ancestral Vision. Wow, they can't cast any of this right now, can they? Um, I don't think Will of Fortune hurts me, like, at all. So, I'm... Um, probably just take the Council's Judgment. Yeah, that was weird, but uh, I think that's probably correct. So I'm gonna play land, spell skite. Um, ooh, they drew a land. Okay, well, probably right with the cancel judgment. Well, I kind of wish I was able to keep this O-ring now, and the coalition. But drawing seven's probably gonna be good. Do we rather play the skull clamp? Or the spell skite. Okay, well, if they don't will this turn, I'll be able to go. If I draw land and go land, relic, skull clamp, you go. They want to with a fortune. I'm okay with this. Yep. Toe 
totally okay with this. Okay, so they got rid of all these cards. These cards are gone. Hmm. I'm just going to take them off of color here. Makes us bounce real bad, but it is what it is. Batter skull is going to be pretty sweet. I'll probably go land, land tax here, and I'm just like, ugh. Mox Ruby, that, that works too. Dak Faden, bleh. Gross. So, okay, yeah, the hope is that what are they discarding here? Well, they have a bunch of shots. That's it was a good thing I got another red source. Oh, I can't do that. I'm stupid. Huh. Interesting. Um, so, going to do this. That spell's got to come here, and if you want to get in there, you got to come here too. Wow, just getting rid of all the burn. Not on a tread mana. Well, they got killed a lotus. They could have just. Wow, they could have uh, attacked me with getting banishing light. Well, that's gross. I don't like that at all. Our decks are surprisingly similar. So mine's playing black and they're just playing red. Wasn't real good, was it? Uh huh. Yeah, 
Yeah, I could have tapped much differently there. I'm drawing a card. Boo. Drawing a discard. Hmm. Okay. Balance it is. Probably should have discarded a card there. But. Yep. He's a big thing. Am I dead? I'm close to dead. Making a bunch. I know that. Wow, you didn't attack with your Spuskite. Seems like a misplay. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna keep put this card and this card because I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to cast that um, Sphinx of Steel Wind now. Sack all your creatures, thank you. They're still barking. Wow. Really need one more mana there, but whatever. Yeah, all this card selection is kind of kind of rough. Gonna be honest, they're discarding two creatures. So that's not a good sign for me. Uh, basically, they just suit up Gideon with a batter skull and beat down, gain a bunch of life. Not a lot I can do about it. Um, okay, like I said, beef him up there. Course of purple. Yeah, I will blow everything up here. Don't kid, because that gets rid of Banisher Light. I choose not to die, so I'll block. Say May. Dragon does not say May. Hmm. I don't really have a lot of apps right now. Uh, the big thing is, like, I'm ahead about two minutes on clock, and uh, I'm gonna carnage just to uh, to do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm at about two minutes on clock, and that put me in another game. So it's kind of not the best way in the world, but just kind of this thing. 
I admit, I'm pretty sure they, if they had kept any of that burn, I'd be super dead. But uh, now, uh, I mean, they're going to draw two cards. So, I don't know how, but I just got to uh, stall out, maybe? They could deck themselves. I'm not I'm trying to think if I have anything that says target player draws X cards. Tangle wire. Okay. That's a thing. Hmm. One, two, three. Okay, they don't have enough to bounce it and replay it. Uh, I'd rather not go to three. Probably should. Probably should just keep the uh, the blocker. But I don't know. Something's going on. Shrink it, mate. Uh, that's a little worse. Still, it only deals six damage to me with a batter skull attached to it, so that's not the worst. But yeah, play the man crypt. Might as well, right? You might as well play it. You gotta die from 34. You gotta deck way before then. Hmm. Well, I have to kill the Gideon. Like, pretty much just have to do that. So, we're going to tap all this stuff. Ugh, gross. Um, okay, well. We're going to kill the Gideon, go to one. They have something, of course. Okay, well that that'll do it. I mean, I don't know what I I couldn't really play around that. So there's that. Now they have to deal with their three triggers, and equipping a batter skull if that's what they want to do. And I am no play yield. You can totally tap your better skull. Doesn't do anything. Why don't you not? You can tap your better skull. Just, just saying. You can totally tap it. Something you could do. I know a lot of these cube games, especially if I play control decks, they get a little bit long. Um, I mean, it's a good game sometimes, a lot of tense top decks, but I'm considering uh, just speeding up the play a little bit, like making it run at like 1.2 times speed, just to make it a little bit faster. Disenchant. Eh, that might have been okay. Okay, but inside board, definitely... Do they have any flyers? Maybe Elsa that can jump things. I'm totally bringing Moat in. Moat's coming in. That's going to happen. Um, going to take out this Gush. And... Going to bring in this Bane Slayer. And I'm going to take out this Minx's Rep. Probably shouldn't do that, but don't care. Going to do it. Let's do it.
they don't have a lot of time to kill me. And uh, I definitely have, I think I've had a little bit quicker starts than them, like the Monastery Mentor, like turn two, Ashiok turn two, uh, definite, definite play that, that go a little bit better for me. Even Lingering Souls early, or Pack Rat early, just... I almost want to take out these two and add the Banishing Light. Let's go bring in the Banishing Light. Another answer over the Sphinx. Um, I still like Ugin, man. I'm sorry. Ugin, Ugin's nuts. You know, if I can play Ugin, it's good. Yes, I'll play first. I'll keep this because it has Monster Mentor and can kill pretty fast. It's got a disenchant. Disenchant's good. Could have been real good against their uh, Banishing Light last game. Two pack red. Yep. That's what I like to call the chump check. Like, did you keep a sketchy hand? Can you beat me in three minutes? Face none of pack rats. And mana vault triggers. Ooh, we got a lot of mana. A lot, a lot of mana. Is this a Chandra of some kind? What is this? Yep, it is. Oof. Probably should have played the spell sky. What? Don't. What are you doing? What are you doing? Like, for real? Those guys go away. Ugh. Okay. Um. Well. Guess I just hit you for two and discard something. Discard Gideon, I guess. To her, I guess. I don't, I'm confused. Why, why she didn't, it, didn't at least hit me for six? That, that was a clock. They had a turn two Chandra Flame Collar. That is crazy good. Yep, there you go. Really, really wanted to have a monastery mentor in play for that, but it'll be okay. Now, if we draw any land, we can go mentor, disenchant. Seems good. They've got a minute and 30 something to kill us. Wow, they're paying to tap it. So they're taking a turn off. That is something you can do.
Mm. Yeah, but that works. That does things. Should have played out the spell scout first, I guess. Yep, killing that thing. Okay, you get to destroy my spell guy. Good job. This is a classic timeout game. Timeout Tuesday on Wednesday. Cancel. Cast. Play around the spell pierce. I don't think there's something that deals 22 in three seconds. Could be wrong. Opponent had a good deck. Good game. He just played a little. Had some stuff with two triggers. That's why I don't like stuff like Tangle Wire is okay in some situations. Um, I love to open library. It can time you out. I don't think Scroll Rack for that reason. Uh, still, we, uh, we're 2-0, and that's better than 1-1. Uh, one, one. So, see you in round three. Okay, starting round three, we're 2-0. I did change the deck a little bit. I took out uh, the Mind's Desire and something. Took out Mind's Desire and put in uh, Baneslayer Angel. Oh, yeah, and I changed the Swamp for a Plains. Um, yeah, we won that I roll. Want to go first? This looks like a pretty sweet hand. So, keep. I am going to play um, an Island first. Looks like they went to five. Ooh. Not the best, I will say. Hmm. It's not the best looking balance I've ever seen. Gush with Bounce, by the way, really funny. Really, really funny. Let me get to do some real shenanigans here in a second. Hmm. Gotta make black. Uh... I know, it seems weird, but I think it's fine. Gonna get him down to one land, and uh, yeah. I discard this Lingering Souls, because awesome, and this Sphinx is red, because I don't need it. No, 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 no. Choose five. I only have to discard one? Sweet. Done. I'm just going to put a jar scanner on it. Just so we can do this. It's on you.
you know what we're gonna uh, no I'm not I'm not that suited up just yet we're gonna we're gonna wait I want that black mana for sure next turn and I think we're okay gonna redirect it to Elspeth probably maybe not I don't know good to go to my face No, just went to my face. That is a little bit scary. That is some scariness right there. They're gonna hope I can they can kill me with my own bit blossom. I don't I don't know. I've got some X's wrapped. I'm not super worried. Them having to sack those two lands, I think it's hindered them a little bit. Mirror Signet seems fine. Any order. Yeah, I'm kind of kind of okay with this whole scenario. Got, yep, that's good. Great, great, great. Who knew two quick planeswalkers and making them sack two lands was, was going to be good. The gush, gush bounce was amazing right there. That was really good. Um, yeah, didn't get to see a ton. Swords, the world's charm, and some uh, just guy lands. So that's a thing. Um, Winter orb is that something we want to bring in? I don't, I don't think it is. But uh, we'll just go. Okay, I can go Inquisition, maybe a quick Ashiok. Any lands, we can go Elspeth. Seems fine. Balance again, very good. Let's see what we're working with here. Ooh, Boros Charm, Wrath of God, Shell Duck Out, Mirror Aid. Okay, so just gonna take your Boros Charm. Really don't care about much of this. The Mirror Angel's not bad. The Shell Duck Owl's good if Ashiok gets going. So, anyway. So, our only bad draws right now are Tezzeret. Sphinx, Ugin, Sphinx is rip. Everything else pretty good. And another plane. So say look at that. That's that seems fine. Um, I'm gonna go play this. Gonna play the shell dock owl. They have one unknown, and that's a spicy meatball. If I get a vindicate, I know where I'm pointing that thing. Okay, so one of their two draws was a planes. Wow. Got three lands. Oh, that's not value. That is not value. That Wrath of God's going to look pretty spicy here. Not can just as long as that counts judgment. If it's like O ring or banishing light, it cancels judgment. Uh, of course it is. Okay. Hmm. So they play that. I'm guessing they played planes, am I thinking? No, 
Okay, so... Funnily enough, I have an answer for that, so good times. Um, Getting an artifact probably be good right now. I'm getting pretty long. Okay, that's good. It's good. Hmm. Okay. Spell Skite, any order. Um, library, here we go. I can totally jump the thing. It's something that I can do. Wrath of God kills it all. That's a sad, sad library, let me tell you. Gideon Jura. Gains flying, hit you in the face. So Gideon's gone. I'm probably going to be doing that pretty. So artifacts, creatures, enchantments, and lands have indestructible. Seems pretty good. That's six land up like a billion. I can also cast anything in my deck. Exquisite firecraft. Can't be countered. Where's it going? Huh. Okay. So I can actually do that. Um, we're going to up it up.
could cast it, but uh, I'm going to hold that just in case. Myriad Angel, play land. Yep. Oh, play Caracas, which doesn't do well with Sphinx. Pretty sure they're dead. Activate Shell Dock Owl. What we got? Consecrated Sphinx. Well, that is kind of savage. Went to one damage. Boo. Um, Get rid of fiery confluence. Wow. The sword is gonna sack that. Um, okay, we're going to uh, they're gonna have one card. We're gonna look at ours. Doesn't count as drawing one, thankfully. Any order. Don't believe does this say it's a legendary guy? No, it doesn't say legendary, but it's legendary planeswalker. Oh, got there. Oof. One time. Yeah, just our deck was pretty good. We drew very well. Never cast Ugin. It took like what, like a fourth or fifth pick Ugin, never cast it. Uh even so. Um Yeah, finally got a trophy. Let's see what we got here. So yeah, pretty happy with the deck. It's kinda of my go to like Esper Planeswalkers. Tether, it's really great. Uh, Elspeth, Gideon, still some of the better Planeswalkers ever printed even after all these years. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you made it this far, give it a like down below, comment, and uh, please subscribe. Uh, if you can, hit the share button on Twitter or Facebook or whatever you, you, know, you go to. And uh, check back for more content. Thanks for watching.